Okay, am I live? Are we live? Is everyone live? Have we always been live? It kind of seems like we're live. I'm streaming on Windows, even though this is a Mac. This is fairly advanced for me. I um, I decided not to do more Doki Doki Literature Club, because fun as that was, the game is literally just me pressing the space bar thousands and thousands of times. And the payoff is just that I'm streaming extremely disturbing images of suicide and self-harm. So on balance, I think maybe we'll play a different game. Uh, last night, I, I didn't. I unlisted the stream from last night because I got a little bit, I got a little bit messy. The chat got a little bit messy. Things got out of hand, and I uh, am trying to put measures in place to do a little bit better with the moderating because. Um, The, the, st we, the streams keep getting raided, and I don't know why. I guess I'm just really popular with people who raid. <laughs> so, uh, but I know it makes the ch it makes the chat a little less fun. It makes the whole experience a little more like a little more on edge. So uh, I'm tr I'm trying to do better with with mod with modding, and uh, yeah, Cat's here. <laughs> She's gonna help me. And uh, I guess you could use some volunteer mods. Well, we'll keep an eye out. I'm supposed to turn slow chat on, but at this point, there's not enough chance of me figuring out how to do uh, how to do slow chat. Everyone say hi to Kat. Uh, I'm drinking a, I'm drinking a sparkling rosé. I feel like very high femme tonight with my sparkling rosé. And this dress is basically the dress form of sparkling rosé. And We're going to play the Stanley Parable, which I've never played before. And I have it in like a tiny little window. Oh my god, the chat is going by so fast. I'm too popular. I can't. I need to. I honestly need. I need to turn on. I don't know what slow chat is, but I need to learn how to do that. Anyway, hopefully the tiny little baby window that I'm playing. Because this game is old, apparently. This is from like 2011. And I got the idea to play this because when I played Super Liminal, everyone was suggesting that I play this game. So we're gonna try it. Uh, let me know if the sound is good because as usual, I have tested nothing. You can tell that it's an old game because it takes, you know, two minutes to load anything. I don't understand it. It's like the simpler games are, the harder, the longer they take to load. Also, is this, is this streaming in like low resolution? Because I this is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. It's like a movie. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day every month of is this a game year. about alienated and labor under capitalism considered it so winning, stanley relished every moment that the orders came in as though he had been made exactly for this job and stanley was happy it's a view it's a, and then one day something very peculiar happened something that would forever change stanley something he would never quite forget he had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happen, happen, happen. This complete isolation. 
Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from on? his desk and stepped out of that his office. Good. I agree. My mic is quiet. Everyone's always saying my mic is quiet. I want to see if I can turn subtitles on. Options. Video. Uh, I don't see subtitles. I could have it in a not 4 3 ratio, but that's the default. Advanced? That doesn't seem advanced. Extras? Yeah, I don't think there are subtitles, sorry. This was before they invented accessibility guidelines. Or even just like basic game design. Subtitles under audio. You're right. You're one hundred percent right. Uh, yeah. Let's do. Let's do this. Okay. So I'm in room four twenty seven, and my job is to be a corporate stooge. I need to lower the mic, the mouse sensitivity. There we go. Thanks, Sarah. Oh, I'm like fast. Why am I so fast? Am I a sprinter? Am I supposed to be this fast? Why is my arrow not in the middle of the screen? It's weird. But Stanley so simply couldn't <laughs> handle the pressure. What if he had to make what? a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. I love my job. I have no dreams. Okay, I turned down the I turned down the volume. I hope it echoes less. Okay. What time is it? 20 after 11. Thanks, Petunia. I appreciate it. Look at these old computers. Would you guys say this is liminal? I'd say it's liminal. Okay, we venture out of the office. Let's not go back in there. I don't, I don't think any good will come of that. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's a lot of no matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. We're in the past tense, too. I do need to your headphones. That is very true. I, I do want some super boys. I love smoked salmon, and, and I love chowder. That sounds amazing. Okay, can I, is this like a click on everything game? Like a game for babies? I don't think so. I'm very fast. 424. This is the back. Is this back rooms the game? I think this is like even. Well, it depends how you define back rooms. I guess this might even be more back rooms than Super Liminal was. It's a very liminal office. It's a very liminal painting. It's a very liminal floor. I mean, what is more liminal? Name me a more liminal type of lighting than fluorescent light, overhead lighting. I would honestly say maybe like sodium, like those yellow sodium street lamps are also pretty liminal. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh. 
should I obey or disobey, left or right? I guess I'm gonna disobey just to see what happens. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly yeah, well. Yeah, fuck you, narrator. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. That's totally what it is. God, the perfect hideous yellowness of this office. Anarchy. Anarchy. Thanks, Sam. <sighs> yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been oh. worth the detour after all, I just to spend a few lounge. moments here in this immaculate, beautifully plant. constructed room. The most liminal kind of Stanley plant. simply stood here, drinking it all in. Soda. Dream soda. When do we write our first poem? Where's Monica? Should I put yes. the outcast music on? <laughs> really, really worth it being here in the room. Okay. A room so utterly captivating <laughs> That even okay. though all your co-workers have mysteriously I don't need vanished, your limey sarcasm. You sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. The English. What are we going to do with that? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Did he? I don't know. Should I obey or disobey? I feel like disobeying. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like being told what to do by English people. <laughs> Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Maddie, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do with my life either. Love you too. Okay, this is some like seriously liminal back rooms business. <laughs> I'll take that into consideration, thank you. How do I Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make Is every decision by you? yourself. Now, am I'm I, not asking am for I me. That I'm, doing... I'm asking for her. I'm doing window capture. Sorry, I'm doing window capture again instead of display capture. We could do the whole display capture thing again. I don't know. It doesn't look that bad to me. I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm a monitor. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Toomst? Oh god, That's this is like an interrogation standing. room. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Is it super laggy? Okay. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? They'd want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Okay, I'm like getting stressed about the lag. I should have just done this. I should have just had opened OBS in the Mac and then it's too hard. It's too many offerings at rating systems at once. My brain can't handle this. I could try switching it to, um, oh God. <laughs> Look how complicated this is. I could try switching it to display capture. Um, 
because see now we have to do this whole thing <laughs> okay it's fine everyone's saying everyone's always telling me what to do and i don't know who to listen to i'm too beta is the problem because i i listen to what other people say <laughs> like when you guys are telling me to do something i actually am gonna do it Okay, I'm going into the, this is also 427. Is this where my wife lives in Fort? Oh God, she's like a This mannequin. is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. The death of a man named Stanley. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. The inconsequential nature. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry okay. for him, except that he's chosen this life. I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna press eight. I'm gonna press every button except three. I'm not going to be a conformist any longer. Okay, that's not doing anything. But in his mind, <laughs> ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Fine. And so he began to fantasize about his own I press job. Three. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped out from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. To spend time with the boys. So he went further. Which boy? He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Thanks, Maddie. Okay, I'm pressing P to prepare dinner. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. I am stressed because everyone's path telling me what to do, and, I don't, <laughs> and all of your advice is contradicting each other. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not alpha and enough another to be a, was a game with a baby. I just and need to get drunker, then I'll get more alpha. That's how, that'll, that'll work, right? It was such a wonderful fantasy. Okay, I'll tell and so in story. his head, he relived it again and then again and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Okay. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. <laughs> the more he forgets which life is the real one. Thanks, Maddie. <laughs> and I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world, he can never be anything Stanley but an observer. Garbage. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, like, do Brazil. not do it. Brazil. Like, have you seen that movie, Terry Gilliam, Brazil? You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I question nothing. I suppose I can't, not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. 
and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tr Please die. I just saw that on the screen. <laughs> Actually, like, I have mixed feelings about that movie. Like, I like the, like, the comical, like, Terry Gilliam parts, but other parts of it I find to be extremely cringe. Like, anyone who was ever associated with Monty Python is kind of forever tainted by this, like, I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers that I feel like is in Brazil. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? No matter how hard Sorry, Stanley Discord, looked, so he couldn't a find a trace of his co-workers. No discourse allowed. This is a relaxation, alienated labor under capitalism stream. I just want to sharpen a pencil or something. Input received. What if I turn on all the computers? What year is this? You can't jump in this game. This is the back room. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, right, he entered I'll the door on his left. This was not the correct way Wait, to Wait, no, I just obeyed because I Stanley forgot which lay is left. Well, perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee I can't, first. Just I to can't even follow it. the instructions that I'm trying to. I can't believe Radiohead was inspired by this game to make OK Computer. Yeah, it's crazy. You're welcome, Rehab. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful right, okay. room. We've done this what, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, I'll obey. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead oh, to the opposite so door, liminal. and got back on the track. I would go so far as to say it's super fucking liminal. Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, Why is this British man trying to alienate my labor? Left. Thanks, Colts fan. I have, I have, um, I have Beginner's Guide in my Steam library. I, I like, was thinking of playing it after this, actually. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. Okay. No, 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 no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What okay, was well, I thinking? this guy can't... It's clearly... This goddamn oh, red dear, coat on for a minute, can't, can't tell left from right either. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely, this way. Okay. I don't think Stanley has an actual wife. I think that was imaginary. No! 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 This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. Is this, this is all a spoiler. Of the Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Lives. Okay. 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 We just, we just have to get back to um. Oh. Who am I kidding? It's fire. Wait, where's it's where am rubbish I? now. I'm 4 30. Whole story completely unusable. Seven. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. My labor is so goddamn alienated. Guys, my where my labor? It's alienated under capitalism.
all of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I have played Portal. I played Portal like 10 years ago. Wait, wait, what? No, I, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? I think Portal Stanley, will be fun to stream now, did you change anything when we were back in that room I with feel all like the to monitors? Me. Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. A game stream to me is like a sleepover. Just a minute ago. Where you're all sure sitting around somewhere. watching someone okay, play a game. Then. It's an adventure. A game that Come you're not Stanley, good at. Let's find <laughs> the story. I just kind of found. I wish we had popcorn. I wish I could share popcorn with the chat. This is like a full back room maze. I feel like this game would be even better if you'd worked like an office job like that. This. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. Well, I can whose promise fault is you that? there definitely was a story here before. Do we just. I like walking around the back room again. So. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be I better like than this. I feel like I'm in that, like, okay, maze screensaver from, like, Windows 98. <laughs> Do you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? Even whatever they want right now is popcorn with truffle oil. All of his co-workers were gone. Have you guys had what truffle oil mean? or like truffle? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps oil. he had simply missed a They're memo. Really good on popcorn. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came mm. from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? You're too poor for that. Well, maybe you should get an office job like Stanley and then you can afford travel oil. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be talking about truffles. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. It's really not the that expensive. Story. Yeah. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay. Where's Dr. Glenn? Dr. Glenn! Wait, can, I, can we call Chris? Can Chris talk, tell me... Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. This game? Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. Am I in a shed? Is that correct? Hmm. I'm in the attic. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? In the attic Since I've completely house. forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! I win. Congratulations! I did it. I, I won. know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Do you think this game is like deconstructing what okay. even means to win I'm a game? getting weirded out by whatever this place this is. is. I don't care capitalism. what might happen this time. I have to restart. Where's Chris? Chris. <laughs> Chris, did you make this game too? Chris, did you make every game? All right, I've got a solution. <laughs> this time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the, the Stanley, Stanley Parable, Parable Adventure, line. Adventure Line. Love that. Just follow the line. How simple is that? What if I don't follow the line?
Should I follow the lion? I guess I'll follow the lion. You see? The lion knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. <laughs> okay. Nope. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? I don't know, that's Simply crazy. I'm gonna call him Dr. Glenn, because he forward, just needs a name. I'm calling him Dr. Glenn. A journey such that I just talked to Glenn, is Dr. Glenn is Scottish, into being via the very manifestation like of the more. nature of life itself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. <laughs> that got a bit weird back there. Just kidding. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? Dr. Glenn, I where think are you what we need here? right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. the music go back and look at that fern is it really loud i'm sorry wait fern? Look, we're back at the office no, no that's not a fern no, that's a bird my, paradise you do know we're looking for the stanley parable right the story is any of this ringing a bell oh here. no 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 not again line how could you have done this to us and after we trusted it's you after soul. everything it's we've been fine. through you no oh, i can't take this anymore to hell with it Restart. I want popcorn. <laughs> you know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're I don't like being people, dominated right? by this English man. Why can't man? we make up our own story? I want to do my own. I'm done daring, with this. Mysterious. I want to do my own. I want to go. This sounds perfectly doable. Have my own adventure in the back rooms. In, well, I don't know. How about this direction? I'm having a boss. I'm being t constantly told what to do. I guess that's the point, because it's alienation or whatever. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. I can make this less, um, I can lower OVXX, yes, you are mod. Oh no, not you again, Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it and we should be fine. Okay, should I lower the game volume? I can do that. Dr. Nelg, the anti-Dr. Glenn. It is kind of the anti-Dr. Glenn. Okay, I'm turning, the, I turn the, I'm turning the game volume down. No. Okay, how about now? I miss you too, OVXX. Miss you so much. I miss your music. We gotta, we gotta ah, do more music. A choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. I'm gonna walk counterclockwise. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination 
corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So okay. starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct yeah, we finally have enough mods. Another victory for logic. We're finally Can't ready. Me. We're finally Our ready to resist. Awaits. Defend ourselves against the invasion. Oh, oh the, confus hmm. the confusion ending. Hmm. Whoa. The confusion ending? You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? <laughs> so now, according to the story, so is this about like free will or whatever? I don't have free will. Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if the I point? don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing, wall. Well, William, you do have me? a check mark. That's why I why keep responding to your to comments. Decide? But I don't know who you are. Why don't I get a say in all <laughs> no offense. Is it really? No, it can't be. I. I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going I on. Miss I miss Dr. Glenn. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer is that stopped. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? The time Will did someone stop. come for us? Will something happen? So fifth three star so, should be next. Okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination After a long or the journey. The narrator is gone. That life is about After the a long time, Stanley dies. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime. It's very good, Undine. <laughs> I love your check mark. God, this perfect hideousness of this yellow. Would you even call that a yellow oh, rug? I like how it's like kind of stained. What could it mean? It's Stanley horrible. Decided to go to the meeting room. It's Perhaps perfectly, perfectly horrible. Okay, I gotta go to the meeting room. What if you're playing this game at work during your corporate job? Came to a set of I two I'm actually doors. gonna obey this. He entered the door on his left. Thanks, Jorge. You're super freaking special. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, mergers! I love mergers. My favorite meeting. Do not alter. Without consulting the whiteboard manager. We gotta guys, we gotta find the whiteboard manager. Using everyone is unique. You most of all. Okay. All animals are created equal, but some are more equal than others. I feel like someone just made this game while he was having a midlife crisis. <laughs> are we watching someone's midlife crisis game? We definitely are. I mean, it's better than a lot of other Stanley things people. just stood there doing nothing at all. He seems to think I have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around and describe <laughs> Tips for not getting fired. Don't get fired. To do anything. This is why Stanley and I are on such good terms. What do you think the midlife crisis man who made this game, how do you think he's doing now, 10 years later? 
is he a super fulfilled game designer? He's definitely not stuck in some kind of office. Do you guys think that like the people who work in offices are actually super privileged? Or are they also alienated workers under capitalism? I'm trying to decide which Twitter take to have. And I don't know. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked up. I've never played Undertale. Office. Dead, I've never played it. Maybe I should. What do I just hide out under here? This is where I would have hide, hidden out if I was in high school. And I was trying to avoid going to some kind of... Uh, when I was in high school, they had pep rallies, which meant that you had to go to the gym. Mandatory gym attendance to go watch cheerleaders and football players. And what you would do if you were smart is you'd find a little nook like this. <laughs> you'd hide. <laughs> Until everyone was gone. And then you'd smoke weed in one of the piano practice rooms. Oh, there's a car down here. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe he thought to himself, Are we in a maybe loop? I am crazy. Are we in a time loop? blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically point. behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. I don't know, Dr. Glenn. Repeating. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This I want cold drinks. And at last, I'm drinking this cold drink. He came to the conclusion drink. that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. Oh, if vape this pens were around when I was in high school, that would have been a oh, game changer. What a relief, Stanley felt, to have finally found an answer, being laggy. an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. Why is he being laggy? He thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself being a little better? and began to gently float above Not really. the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Oh, it God. was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by okay, Stanley. Okay, thanks, Erica. I'll drink from the bottle. Strange. <laughs> I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that of course hey, it's Vosh. Was not a dream. Hey, Vosh. He? Was Stanley How are you, Vosh? Himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley I love not taking responsibility right for myself. Now, as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice no, I haven't, bro. Make the magical stars just a moment ago. How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if Wait, he could just. Is the British man he Stan would Stanley? It. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. Excuse me, Zouch. The correct pronunciation. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. <laughs> The press of the mattress on his back. Congratulations on your two large air cookies. Of the world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Let me continue Please. doing alienated labor under capitalism. 
I want my apartment so I want. and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. I feel like everything. I'm trapped in the head of a middle-aged man. I am <laughs> okay. He's, he hates his job. I don't like it. I don't want to be this good man. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. Thanks, I am combo. real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be I've real. I've never played Earthbound. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Oh, God. He's gone crazy. And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up no, the Doki Doki, Doki video. I just unlisted it because I was just really messy in it, and the chat was messy. It was just a messy video. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. I could play Doki Doki music. She soon turned to go call for an ambulance. For just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone does, knows what crazy does Stanley like. jump out of a window? And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very Are we about to become this woman? Impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest Thanks, of the Thanks, Vouch. <laughs> she had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the Do we play any games that don't involve suicide on this me. channel? Not really. I think all of our games are suicide games. Chris! Chris, you're here. I'm so happy Chris is here. I don't know. I know that you didn't make this game, Chris, but I still feel like you did. And I'm going to pretend like you did. Because that is comforting to me. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Oh, I closed what the door. To make a decision? Super what liminal will always be the most liminal game, Chris. Nothing will ever be more liminal. Never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Okay. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon. Are you sure, Chris? Are now, you sure you didn't make it? it? <laughs> he will be spoken to. How do you he know, Chris? Did you make all, every single game? Now it's just a little bit closer. Are you sure that no, you didn't make closer. all the game? Here it comes. Oh. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. So Stanley jumps out of a window. Room. Honestly, I want to introduce Stanley and Sayori. I feel like they have a lot in common. <laughs> Stanley doesn't write poetry Stanley though. came to a set of two oh, open fine. doors, he entered the door on his left. A little bay, like a fucking sheeple. I love gaslighting Chris. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, gaslighting Chris is praxis. Office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, I'm Coming going upstairs. To a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's okay. office. Ooh, this is new. We haven't seen damask wallpaper yet. I like this. You can see that it's like velvet. And you've got this nice wood wainscoting. Ooh, I want to be a boss. With Stepping into his manager's though. office, Stanley was once again this is like to Mr. discover Burns. not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley Mr. wandered in office. disbelief who orchestrated this? The icon what dark of the game. secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk 
guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't pop it incredibly by simply pushing <laughs> random buttons on the keyboard. <laughs> Stanley had to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. A girl boss. I love being a girl boss. Look at my girl boss office. I'm so glad too, Adam. Wait, open. Open says, how does, why does this not open? <laughs> and I find a nice Chianti. Three nice Chiantis. Wait, is that the secret? Oh. I found it. Not enough chess pieces. Okay, have fun reading, nerd. <laughs> Bye, Chris. Thanks for stopping by. We'll miss you. It's raining where I am too. I miss Chris. <laughs> Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control, Mind control facility. facility. My favorite facility. Okay, should I escape or should I have my mind controlled? Sign me up for mind control, please. This is very Brazil. Thank you, Vincent. I do my best. <laughs> The lights Ooh. rose on an enormous. Oh room come on! This is just. We screens. are literally in Brazil. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Am I about to be tortured by Michael Palin in a baby mask? I'm pretty sure I'm about to be tortured by Michael Palin in a baby mask. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true oh, nature revealed. Here. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, <laughs> Thanks, Hansu. I love the gaslight facility. This place where freedom meant nothing. Thanks, Dave. Do my best. Okay, so. Thanks, Nathan. That's a good idea. <laughs> I should put vouch in a video. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated? I think both, Kat. I think both. This is literally like 1984. A book that I've totally read. I actually have read 1984. But it's probably because I'm a leftist. No. I feel like leftists have read it and conservatives it. haven't. He couldn't accept it. His own I don't need to make big donuts. I just like that. Control, like thing. Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly Girl. blind to the I world? That. I'm pretty sure everyone spends our entire life blind to the world, Gorge. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this. Wow, we're just like literally and fucking sheep. As the sheeple. cold reality of his past began to sink in, oh, that's crazy. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. This is literally he the plot of 1984. The controls once and for all. I 
I can hear it raining really crazily outside. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Well, Is that what you wanted? That seems pretty control? reasonable to me. Oh, Stanley. I love control. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off. Okay. And well, I can't turn them off. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. Eliminating oh good. The entire I love complex. nuclear detonators. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your oh. time to shine. You are the star. Two it's minutes. your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments uh. until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. Can we turn this off? What all this means. I barely know where to start. I don't think we can start. turn this off. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? This game are. is like a leftist meme. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. With 12 paragraphs right, of text. I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to I should hit snooze. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. I love Other dying times, alone. I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control. What am I supposed to do? You, it's quite rich. OVX Zags, I miss Chris too. And I'm sure whatever I come up <laughs> with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. Two. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the Thanks, clock. Thanks, Gracian. These are precious Gracian. additional seconds, Stanley. I do my best to be a true girl gamer. It's true. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right yes, now? Yes, that is why. Did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you, running from button to button, screen to screen, <laughs> clicking on every How dare you? in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, <laughs> or maybe this big red button. Or this door. How dare you? Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you say that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? No, I don't, Glenn. <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. Stam and I, Stanley. Stam. When did the Stanley force force feminization clock begin? For every moment that you're powerless to see you made hungry. Okay, three. Where's button one? This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. Should I do them in order? To control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it. Okay, first, one. So you can't. Two. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's thirty seconds you have left to struggle. Thirty seconds yeah. until a big boom and then nothing. No end. Just you being blown Three. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. There's Make five, there's four. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable there's life. One, two. From the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Oh. We died. Fours. Feminize Stanley. Bimboification Stanley. Four is upstairs. Where's upstairs?
I don't think it does work at Hempo Hooters, honestly. <laughs> what? All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bimbo if I Stanley. Stanley Bimboification now. When Stanley came to a set of two open I'm doors, this was again. not the I'm correct annoyed. way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime. My streams are kind of bimbofication streams because me playing, I am kind of a gamer bimbo. Like, just because I literally am that bad at games. Stanley, bimbofication now. We want bimbo Stanley. Stanley is now Stacy. Yeah, exactly. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley. Alright, am I gonna go back to the office? To am I gonna press the buttons office. in order this time? Ooh, an elevator. Thank you, Sam. It is really effing liminal. Okay, let's go all the way up. All the way up to the top. Queering Bimbo Stanley. Yes. Naming my kid Lee Stan. Lee Stan Triplings. This is working. Here we are. Wait, isn't this where I just was? Executive bathroom, that's my kind of place. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes. If the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Did Monica write that one, do you guys think? Extreme bathroom, this is my kind of magazine. Thanks, Max. Maybe my next video should be just be called Bimbo's Contrapoints. Stanley into his manager's office. Love that. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety... The narrator's already talked enough. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. I like this. This is very liminal. This game needs more liminal. I want to play the piano. Piano stream. I want to play. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly so walked forward soothed. into the opened passageway. Hmm? I think Justice Part 2 should be... It should be a mukbang. Don't you guys think? Chris. <laughs> I'm really obsessed with Chris. I gotta calm down. This is quarantine madness.
I like Sylvia Plath's poem, Daddy. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <sighs> All right. I guess I'll try to escape this time. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent Thank end. God. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get I've been waiting on track. for someone to wash my brain. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. There's a piano downstairs, yeah. Did I do it? Oh god, this is getting very outlast. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley is such a Stanley downer. The bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a enormous metal jaw. Instant, Stanley was obliterated. The narrator transition. The, the narrator is forced to feminize. Instantly. Okay. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. I like this. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead Nature the painting. moment he hit start? That's very good. It's very valid. The narrator is very valid, yeah. the map of the office it's 100 percent of the map of the office the path from stanley's office to the two doors were the first part of the game that was built sections have been added i'm sorry you're cold dallas it's kind of cold here too but you guys aren't used to it so you can't handle it i'm sorry it must be really hard to not be able to handle things <laughs> Stunning and brave narrator. Office computers. Okay. Oh, it's the game credits. Kevin Brighting as the narrator. David Redden and William Pugh. So these are the mid the midlife crisis people. Why aren't they in chat? <laughs> I would like to call them. Maintenance room. <laughs> this is very interesting. <laughs> What if I called them and Chris and I just like hosted a debate about games? <laughs> Is it true that there's more skeletons in the world than humans? What do you guys think?
Whoa, it's like a museum of Stanley's office. We're in a museum of the game. I love that. More games need to have museums of the game. I'm sorry, Dallas. Um, I don't have any food to send right now, but I'm sending vibes. Hope that's helpful. This is creepy. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. Force How they wish to control narrator. one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Is this liminal? Listen to me. You can still save Oh two. god, there's the crusher thing. The program before they both fail. Wait, what? <laughs> and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's. Should I quit? <laughs> no. Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time Oh. Stanley got crushed. How fucked up would that be if there's like a serious natural disaster? Like, I don't know, like a hurricane in Puerto Rico or whatever, and you're like sending good vibes. <laughs> I think that's what I just did to Dallas. Wait, is the game over? Did I get crunched? Should I quit now? Is Stanley now Mr. Game and Watch? Did I win? <laughs> Did I win before I even started? <laughs> what is the meaning of winning? Did we all win together? Can we even, can we not stop winning? Chris is gone, otherwise I would call Chris. Yes, Mr. Gay Man Watch. Someone has to watch the gay man. We call those people Fujoshi. <laughs> um... Okay, should I restart? Should I quit the main menu? Okay, begin the game again. I have to pee. <laughs> We should decide what game to play next while I'm peeing. This is literally just the game again. Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it's it again in his done. life. We're not even done. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door. And Is it like left. platform nine and three quarters? Can I charge the middle between the two doors? <laughs> Why do gamers always have to pee? Because we drink so much G fuel. We're so loaded up on G fuel that we constantly have to be peeing Yet it out. There's not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Is that true, Stanley Erica? decided to go up to his boss. Erica, are you really as sad as they say? Find an answer there. 
coming to a staircase, Sammy walked upstairs to his boss's office. Are we still playing this game or do we win? Oh, the Nancy Drew games? We could do that. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, uh -huh. it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Kill surprise. Yeah, what if I go down the stairs? It's a good point. Let's try to go down the stairs. The bathroom wall is different. This is very back roomsy. I want this office. I don't know about the exact layout, but I like the general vibe. I don't know if I would say I like unconventional narrative games so much as I like walking simulators and I like games that have a kind of surreal feeling to them. If whether or not there's a conventional narrative is kind of not the biggest deal. I'm trapped. Okay, I'll do a Dave. Wait, what? Why is that only pressing two? What the fuck? Earned an achievement. <laughs> I have to pee. Okay, guys. We have to decide what game I should play next. Some games I could play. I could do the beginner's guide. I feel like I want to play, I feel like the, because I watched some gameplay of the beginner's guide on YouTube. It looked to me like the beginner's guide has just as much narration as the game we just played. I kind of want to game, play a game with like less narration. You know what I mean? It's hard to talk over that much narration and not a game that's just reading like Doki Doki. I guess we could play Doki Doki if we feel like just being disturbing and weird. Maybe we should play Doki Doki. I don't know. But also, like, wasn't the entire point of the stream, like, not to just play Doki Doki? The Beginner's Guide. Amnesia. <laughs> Little Dark Souls. <laughs> I can play... Dream Daddy. Oh god, the chat's going crazy. Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, I downloaded that because I wanted to play a jump scare game last night. It would take me too long to figure out The Sims unless I play like a more recent Sims game, like Sims 3 or Sims 4. Okay, I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna look at the chat on my phone and we're gonna start a game to play. <laughs> I shouldn't have asked the chat because the chat's just gonna go crazy. <laughs> I'm taking this with me.
playing Doki Doki or, or are we playing? Oh, no, it's going to be, I just like the idea of it, but it's actually just going to be really disturbing and we're going to be sad, you know? Oh God, I have to turn this off on my computer. The interference is multiplying. I don't have The Sims 2 because it's a new computer and it's The Sims 2 takes forever to, to set up because it's like not, because it's like a million years old. You guys. <laughs> if we play Doki Doki, we'll be sad. It's only good in theory, you know? <laughs> I'm being too beta. I just have to decide. I keep asking people for suggestions. Well, I have to download something, so it's going to take a while. I should decide, like, right now. Because all we have left is like the sad part of Doki Doki. Do we really want that? I don't think we want that. I could play City Skylines and make a city. I actually wish I could do The Sims because that would be, but I don't have a Sims 2 like ready to go and it's gonna take like an hour to get that ready, so. I could do portal, yeah. What do I feel? I'm just gonna choose myself. What do I feel like playing? Was there one people suggested? There's a game called Inside. Five Nights at Freddy's. asked her Age of Empires 2 yeah that's an option <laughs> I have it <laughs> could be fun <laughs> I'm kind of feeling Age of Empires 2 honestly but I'm not I'm I feel like it's just gonna end up with me doing the car cheat again. <laughs> Stardew Valley, a lot of people are suggesting Stardew Valley. I've actually never played Stardew Valley. My brother used to play that game constantly. I actually feel like it's been so long since I did Portal. Portal would be actually fun to me. Okay, I literally just need to make a choice right now. Okay, it's between... I'm gonna do Portal. Something's just telling me to do Portal. Install. Portal 2, of course. This music was a poor decision. I'm downloading Portal because I feel like I've the first time I ever played Portal I was really really high and my brother made me sit down and was just like he just put the computer in front of me <laughs> it was just like you're playing this now okay Portal's at 2% it's 2% downloaded in the meantime, hold on, let's create a, let's create a window capture. There we go. No, wait, a display capture. 
Let's play. Let's play the flash game Viridian Room. I don't know how to walk through. <laughs> Do you remember flash games? Adobe Flash Player is no longer supported. Okay. I'm so good at streaming. I can't even believe how good I am. <laughs> Play Doki Doki in the meantime. Thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, Port is only at 10%. We should play something. Oh, wait, but Doki Doki's on my Mac account. And sorry, I'm doing parallels, so I'm running P like Windows on a Mac. I did pick Yuri. What is Club Penguin? I'm gonna look it up. People keep saying pop, pl Club Penguin. Was a massively multiple, multi so it was. Involving a virtual world that contained a range of online. Okay, why are you telling me to play Club Penguin? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Dream Daddy is just Doki Doki without the hor the horror, and it's just gonna be too much reading. I'm also gonna download. I see a lot of people saying Dear Esther. We could do Dear Esther. I've never done that. Whichever one downloads first. I realize that's a stupid plan because it's gonna make things slower. Close the Stanley Parable. Why can't I quit the Stanley Parable? Is that part of the game that you can't quit? Okay, just quit. There's too many chatters. I'm too popular. My life is really hard. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> Why are there boomer trolls? My audience is just boomer trolls. Boomer trolls like me. <laughs> the portal's not even a quarter of the way downloaded. God damn it. I remember Goat Simulator. That was a moment on the internet of 2013 or whatever. People keep saying Disco Elysium. I've had people recommend that to me before. I feel like Disco Elysium is like a whole fucking commitment, you know? We need music. Let's just chill. Let's just have a chill stream and listen to music. You nerds. You nerds will appreciate this. Or maybe we could just play Morrowind. Why isn't every stream just a Morrowind stream? I feel like Morrowind's kind of having a little moment. A moment in the spotlight, you know? I love that for it. I don't, Minecraft is too hard to download, but I should download. I should honestly download Minecraft for next time. I think the next stream, 
The next stream is gonna be a Minecraft stream because I've never played Minecraft. And Minecraft is like such an important game or whatever. I should absolutely play Minecraft. Oh, Pathologic, that's a good idea. Would you guys watch me do Skyrim? I could do Skyrim. Not right now. Because it's gonna take forever to download, but I could do Skyrim sometime. I should probably let Skyrim take to download. Honestly, that would be pretty fun. Except that we have to like mod it to skip the fucking beginning. Yeah, Skyrim is 12 gigabytes, that's gonna take forever to download. Are you kidding me? Downloading portal. I think portal will be fun. Portal's gonna screw, cause like, what I really wanna play right now is like super liminal, but more of it. And I feel like Portal is gonna is gonna scratch that itch for me, cause it makes you like think in that kind of like spatial puzzle solving way. You guys know what I mean. I need to turn the volume of my mic. I don't know how though. Testing, 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 testing. Te oh, it's too loud. Testing, 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 testing. Watching Portal download with Mormon music is weird. Let me turn it down. That's better. City of Skylines is too much of a commitment, I think. Guys, stop suggesting games. We're gonna do. <laughs> We're gonna do, we're gonna do Portal. But in the meantime, we're just relaxing and we're listening to Morrowind music. Cause it's just good. I do think Morrowind would be fun to play. Should we download Morrowind? Fuck, now that I'm listening to the Morrowind music. I feel like I want to play Morrowind, you know? I want to be a skooma addict. God, the chat is just garbage right now. Oh, sayonara wild hearts. People kept, people almost suggested that to me in the, my Patreon stream. Who's texting me? Morrowind. Okay, people are saying do Morrowind. Okay, I'm downloading Morrowind. Store. We're playing Morrowind. It's happening. It's happening. It's gonna be stunning. Absolutely stunning. Okay, Morrowind Game of the Year Edition. Add to cart. Ah. What does the bundle include? Oh, also like Skyrim and Oblivion. No. Purchase for myself. Wait, I should probably turn this off so you don't see my like, credit card or whatever. <laughs> Purchasing. <laughs> We're playing more Winvich.
The music is getting me all amped. It's getting me all amped for Morrowind. Okay, I purchased it. Okay, I agree to the Steam subscriber agreement. Okay, I purchased it. Vosh, what is your opinion of Morrowind? <laughs> okay, library. Stop downloading portal. Morrowind is my new best friend. Oh, it takes, it's so small. This game is smaller than Portal. Well, because it's from 2003, that makes sense. Guys, I played Morrowind when it first came out because I'm old enough to be your mother. That's why you all want to suck milk from my teeth. You filthy, filthy children. I feel like so many people like fetishize how old I am because <laughs> this is the internet and like people are weird. And like, I wonder if those people are turned on by hearing me say that I played Morrowind in high school. <laughs> I played Morrowind in high school with my mommy milkers. <laughs> this is too much. We should turn back while we still can. Guys, I'm so fucking excited for Morrowind. Uh, we have gotta start thinking what kind of, what race, obviously my character is gonna be a skooma addict. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> but we gotta decide like what race and what gen, um, well, I don't think we need to decide what gender. I think we decided that already. But like, what class? Because remember, Morrowind is not like. Morrowind is not a is. Remember, Nor Morrowind is like ancient technology, so nothing works. So you don't want you don't want to do like magic or things that are really hard. You want to do. You want to do like something really simple, like long sword, you know? <laughs> I love the dark elves in Mormon. I think I should be a dark elf. A dark elf goddess. <laughs> a dark elf mommy milkers goddess. <laughs> God, I'm just making, I'm making pornography for nerds. That's what I mean, at the end of the day, isn't everyone, isn't everyone who makes content online ultimately they had to face the fact that like, on some level that you are making porno for nerds. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how intellectual you are. You're making porno for nerds. That's what the internet is. Remember? Remember, the internet is pornography for nerds. How did you guys forget? Why do we keep forgetting? I forget every time. And then, then I look at the chat and I remember, oh, this is pornography for nerds. Why do I keep forgetting what, what my life is? Why do I keep deluding myself about the nature of my profession? Do a kudgy cat girl bimbo. <laughs> is my class just a bimbo? <laughs> okay. Go away, music. We're playing. We're playing this game now. I'm gonna try to organize. Okay, I'm gonna need to like, this is gonna be, this is gonna be disorganized for a little bit because, okay, options. 
Wait, I can I can go back to this. I'm gonna turn the display capture on for now. Ooh. Um. Okay, sure. Whatever. No window. Play. A punching? No, I don't know if I can do. That. Kids. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix. I'm gonna get this looking better. <laughs> don't you worry. Move over. No. Can I, why can't I move the window? Here we go. Here we go. Do you think it looks better if I do? Does it look better if I do display capture, or does it look better if I do window capture? I'll try window capture and see how we feel with that. Okay, window capture, properties, more wind. What the fuck? I'm very good at streaming. I'm doing very good. Do you think that, um, do you think Chris can talk us through Morrowind? Okay, new. Guys, I haven't started a new game Morrowind in so long, I'm so excited. Wait, no, but I was just in proper, no, no, no. Stand up, there you go. <laughs> You were dreaming. The video. What's your name? Okay, I should make the resolution higher. What what the fuck is this? What are these weird resolutions? What is this real that weird? What is this outdated bullshit? Oof. Okay, I like that better. Okay, I'm gonna put that here. Okay, and I'm gonna... I'm just gonna display cap... Wait. Yeah, I'm just gonna display capture. Because this is bullshit. Guys, I'm the best streamer that ever lived. I'm sorry. If admitting that is painful for you, but it's just reality. What the fuck? <laughs> Guys, okay, hold on. I have to hold option. Okay. This is another OBS stream. Wait, no. Okay, we're putting that here. What the fuck? It's like not even. Girl, what aspect ratio is this? All right, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> you go over here. Okay, we're doing this. Okay, it's working, right? Okay, return. Name. Natalie. I guess being a Khajiit Not even would be the most, um, it would be the most, like, cat girl. Hold on. I'm gonna... No, why is this not working? No, uh... You... <laughs> Guys, my computer's not working. <laughs> Guys, why do you keep calling me old? Streaming is hard, okay? It doesn't matter how young you are. You guys are so mean. Okay, I'm ready. Guys, I'm playing this game. Wait, why can't I move? I can't move. Why can't I move? I 
can't cut out to wait for this. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm sorry, this is what Morwen looked like. This You're old as hell. Come with me. <laughs> Guys, does this sound glitchy as we did? <laughs> does this sound glitchy and weird as fuck to you? <laughs> Okay, WASD, that's crazy. I just gotta follow this guy out of here. I better do what they say. Class is bimbo. Boomer, bingo, boomer? <laughs> boomer, bimbo, old person is my class. Good, <laughs> why is the audio like this? Why is the <laughs> guys? Why is the audio like this? Uh, oh. Is there a turn off the glitch mode? Okay. The sooner you leave, the sooner, the sooner we can you move leave, on. the sooner we can move on. Guys, why is the audio glitchy? Get yourself up on deck, Get yourself up on deck and let's keep Let's go to Sedanim. Is it because I'm doing display capture? This is where they want you. Is that actually why? The dock, and I'll show you to the census office. Let's go. Move it along. Hey, right, hold on. It's Let's see because it's only the Move it's it only along. the music. Okay, I'm gonna try to do window capture and see if it works better. Cause guys, I'm hearing. Let's go. I'm hearing Move the glitches too. It's not just okay. the audio. Move it along. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. Why is it glitchy as fuck? <laughs> and my computer also is acting like it's about to break. <laughs> Wait, and I'm I want to just like... I just, I want to control all the layout <laughs> out of this, but I'm using Windows on a Mac. It's like control option delete. <laughs> oh, that worked. Task manager. Oh God, because I'm using multiple like 32 bit things. That's probably the problem. I'm frozen. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this off. I'm gonna make myself big. I just... Why is it like this? Did I just, oh, it just, it just broke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so should I play Skyrim? If Morwen doesn't work, then surely Skyrim will work, right? Wait, Dear Esther is downloading. Windows XP compatibility mode. <laughs> should I play Doki Doki? Why is Morrowind not working? I want to play that. <laughs> Let 
Because it worked for a second. It's working again. <laughs> I'm doing really good. See, now it's working. I fixed it. Anna. It's Anna. working, guys, it's working. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? What's your name? Natalie. Well, well, not even last night's <laughs> storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Guys, should I, should I be Sayori? Should I name myself Sayori instead of Niatali? This is where you get off. Come with me. Okay. <laughs> Guys, it's working. Hatch to see it on the end. Wait, is it lagging? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just saw. <laughs> I just saw a comment saying it was seven frames per second. I think it's working amazing. How did I fix it? I just turned it off and on again. <laughs> Hi. This okay. is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show Yo, you the sense. It's the guard. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Okay, I'm a dark elf. Change sex change sex. Yes, please. <laughs> um, okay. Well yeah, change face because girl, this come on. Let's find the best hair. These are all terrible. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Toaster stream. Toaster stream. <laughs> all the dark health hair options are bad. Why is it doing this? Oh, the problem is that Steam is also downloading things. Hold on, let me make Steam stop doing that. Stop downloading. No, wait, no. Oh, wait, and the audio is being shitty now. Guys, why, is, why am I bad at this? No, more wind. Now it's being all shitty with audio. Why is it doing this? Target Elf Liberation now. Change face, yes please. No, change sucks. I'm gonna be one of the weird ones with crazy tattoos. <laughs> Why is the audio so bad? Guys, the audio is not just bad for you. Like, I can hear it too. There's like no phase options. Every character in this game is hideous. I'm extremely valid. 
No. Okay, I like that face. There's no good hair, so we're just gonna do the best that we've got. I'm just making a skooma addict, so whatever. Can someone in Baltimore just come to my house and just like rob me and fix it or whatever? I don't care. <laughs> all these. We have to be different ways. I just can't deal with this. <laughs> Should I be a lizard person? <laughs> okay, guys, this doesn't work. I'm give up. My cousin just texted me <laughs> to tell me <laughs> that there's mods that will modernize Morrowind. Hold on, let me text him back. <laughs> okay, library. We're playing, we're downloading Portal 2, which was always the plan. Kachi has no words for you. Next time we do, next time we stream, we're doing Morrowind and we're creating a cat girl, Kachi Bimbo, Sayori class. <laughs> the bimboification of the frame rate. Okay, well next time I will down next time I'm gonna download my cousin says hi. Next time I'm gonna download the game that I play before I start the stream. <laughs> then this won't happen so much. Also, I have like a, I should just get it, honestly. I have money. Like I should just get a PC. What am I doing? You know? Also, everything's being super glitchy right now because I'm downloading. Guys, st stop posting your club penguin memes. No one cares. Guys, this is chaos. Okay. So I'm definitely seeing that like everything's lagging because I'm downloading. I'm downloading while streaming, which is like <laughs> objectively kind of stupid. Should I play Oblivion? <laughs> what if I play Oblivion? I love you guys. <laughs> Do 
Where is Monica? It's a good idea. <laughs> That's a good question. Guys, this is liminal. I think it's liminal. I think it's super fucking liminal. I can't do Oblivion tonight, but I feel like I should stream Oblivion like next time I stream. Wait, I drank this whole bottle. Because if it streams even like less together than last night, like last night we had it together, we were at least playing games the whole time instead of doing this. I think my favorite Elder Scrolls game is Morrowind. I think it's the best one. You guys were so fucking close. ASMR stream. I need to get, I need to get um like another bottle of sparkling water after this, and then we could do that. No, not enough for a Open a second bottle. <laughs> no. I'm not playing arena. Okay, we're so fucking close to being downloaded. Seven oh three gigabytes of seven oh three gigabytes. Okay, it's like it's done. It's literally done. Are you guys are you ready? Are you ready for a video game stream? I'm opening it. Oh boy, this is gonna be a test. I don't want to access the Steam community. Fuck. Guys, why is this not working? What the fuck? Why is this such a tiny window? Guys, ah, I'm doing amazing. I'm a very professional streamer. <laughs> Guys, why is Portal so tiny? 
Why is it so tiny? Stop it. Oh, it's, it's big now. All right, we're going to do this. No one tell me what. Is the cake is the cake real? <laughs> Guys, I'm doing great. I don't want to hear any more of your. I don't want to hear any more of your talk. Okay, play single single player. No, I'm doing amazing. <laughs> I am a professional. <laughs> Oh God. I do still have a cute nose. <laughs> Guys, this is an extremely professional gamer stream. <laughs> Guys, I'm Sorry, I can't stop looking. <laughs> I'm entertained for the chat. And how, why is, okay, let's try window capture, honestly, because I feel like display capture on this is not helping us at all. No, not that. Is that working? No. <laughs> it is more window. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this would work better. <laughs> okay, look, it's working. Guys, look, it's working. Look, it's working. The fuck?
Okay. <laughs> Being a streamer is hard. I love serious brain damage. I got you, Gorge. Fuck this little blue eyed bitch. I haven't seen the chat. The chat is changing for the first time in like a long time. Grizzly, <laughs> if you've texted, if you've, <laughs> if you've chatted anything in the last like five minutes, I'm seeing it all now. <laughs> On. I'm unlisting this. I'm not letting this be on my channel. <laughs> this is being unlisted. Do you understand? Do you understand how unlisted this is about to be? I'm just gonna drink more until it works. <laughs> Guys, every stream that isn't this is run by a genius. <laughs> Any stream that's not this is honestly run by a genius. Still echoing? No, it's not still echoing. <laughs> Guys, I'm unlist I'm unlisting this from my channel. I'm unlisting it. Guys, I can't. I can't with the chat.
Guys, I should quit. Guys, I think it's over. I think it's over for all of us. I've lost, I've lost the stream. I'm gonna unlist this and then delete it and pretend this never happened. Let's pretend this never happened. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. Can we pretend this never happened? Let's pretend it never happened. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. <laughs> Can we pretend this never happened? <laughs> I want to pretend this never happened. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. <laughs> Can we pretend? never happened. It just, it never happened. This never happened. God, this never happened. This never happened. Can we pretend it never happened? I think we should pretend it never happened. <laughs> Can we pretend it never happened? I think we should Guys, can we pretend this never happened? I think we can pretend it never happened. This never happened. <laughs> I think we can pretend it never happened.